A few weeks ago, a fella from County Kildare emailed me because he wasn't sure how to handle a particular traffic light junction in Nace in County Kildare. Now, once I saw the photograph of this junction, it immediately reminded me of a similar junction in Wexford that sometimes causes issues amongst learner drivers. In this video, I'm going to show you a photo of the Nace Junction and I'm going to show you some video footage of the Wexford Junction so you can manage these type of junctions to the best of your ability in future. Remember, all junctions are different. This is just about these two particular junctions that happen to be similar. Firstly, I hope you like this wonderful artwork here that my beautiful and talented nieces did for me to encourage you to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification. So if you like this video, don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up or if you just like the artwork, just give it a thumbs up for that. You can also hit that subscribe button for more great videos like this. And if you click on the bell notification, you will be notified whenever I upload new content. So let's get on with the video. So this is a picture of the traffic light junction in Nace, County Kildare. Apparently it's before the test centre and the Osprey Hotel here is to the left. Now I don't know Nace at all, uh, I'm just going on information that I've been told. So that's just to establish the geography. So the question the learner had anyway is the following. Do I wait for a green light in order to take this right turn here or can I just proceed if it's safe and if there's no oncoming cars in spite of a potential red light here? The answer is yes, you can go, even if the light is red, as long as it's safe to do so, because this right turn here is a minor road and is not part of the traffic light junction as such. Yes, it is close. It is in close proximity to the traffic lights, but it's not an integral part of it. So first of all, I want to say a big thank you to Carl Wutzial, who is a driving instructor in NACE. He works out of Kildare Driving Academy and I appreciate Carl's time and explanations because he was the one who gave me uh, the lowdown on this junction. So thank you very much to him for the information he provided. So this junction here is a minor road to the right. OK, so you, you can see you have to be in the right hand lane to take the right turn. But if you look at the junction to the right, there's no set of lights here. The pedestrian crossing is a little bit further back than at the other parts of the junction. And Carl said that there's lots of people getting caught here because they're being too hesitant and they're waiting for a green light when they don't need to wait for a green light. So they're going to get caught on progress uh, turning right. As I said, the right turn here is before the actual set of lights. Now, it's not by much, but it is before it. So therefore, you do not have to wait. You can go if it's safe. Uh, even on the red light, as long as there's no oncoming cars. Another tip here, don't be too short. It's perfectly okay here to be in the yellow box as long as you're turning right. So if you stop before the yellow box here, you could get faulted on position turning right. So just be aware of that. Remember the rule with the yellow box is no stopping, no parking, but the exception is if you're taking a right turn, as long as you don't obstruct anyone. Notice the other differences here. Uh, when you compare this minor road to the rest of the junction. For example, there's no set of lights here, as I mentioned. The pedestrian crossing as well, as I mentioned, is further back than it is on the other parts of the junction. Notice the stop line, which has the word stop. This is not at a normal set of traffic lights. It's also slightly staggered in that the right turn is before the left turn here. All these are subtle little differences that should alert you to the fact that this right turn can be taken differently to the rest of the traffic light junction. So once again, you can proceed and take the right turn here, even if the light is red, as long as it's safe to do so, and as long as there's no oncoming cars coming towards you. So as I was saying, this reminded me of a very similar junction in Wexford Town, and this is that junction. As you can see, it looks quite alike. Um, there's two lanes and a right turn lane as well for taking a right and then the other lane for, for going straight down towards the traffic lights. But notice the right turn here is before the main body of lights. So that offers a certain bit of separation from the rest of the traffic light junction. The road on the right 
is a one-way street as well, as you might be able to make out here by this traffic sign. There's no set of lights regulating any traffic in or out. Now, traffic can only go in, of course, because it's a one-way street. But anyway, there's no set of lights regulating traffic uh, when, you, when you're coming into this uh, road on the right. So let's take this car here, for example. This car can take the right turn without having to wait for a green light. Now, if there's a green light, well, that's all well and good. They can go anyway. But the rule is you can go here even if it's a red light. But as he's doing so, the car turning right needs to be very, very aware of cars coming from the left and cars picking up speed as this white car is doing here. Now, in this case, it seems OK because the white car apparently doesn't have to slow down much or at all. But it is a little bit close for comfort, this right turn here. And this reminds me of something else that Carl said as well in relation to the previous uh, junction in Nace in County Kildare. He said that if you are taking a right turn here in Nace, you have to be very, very careful of traffic on the left here who might have a green light and they can emerge and take the right turn very quickly. And this could catch learners by surprise. So it's similar to, to this junction in Wexford. Traffic coming from the left or traffic coming from straight could be picking up speed on this hill here because it is a hill and they do need a little bit of juice to get up the hill and that means they might be picking up a little bit of speed so just be wary of that you always have to be careful of oncoming cars whenever you're taking a right either a standard right turn or a right turn at traffic lights another thing to watch out for in situations like this is for people who might be crossing the road without paying the proper attention Remember, if the pedestrian has already started to cross the road, so they've left the footpath and they have a foot on the actual road, then you have to give them right of way. But if they haven't actually started to cross the road, then they don't have automatic right of way. Sometimes people will cross the road carelessly and without the proper attention. If we take a look at this fella here, in fairness to him, he does look around um, before he crosses the road. He does check, which is good. But then once he's walking across then, as you can see, he has his head stuck in the phone and uh, he's not paying the proper attention as he's crossing, even though he did look beforehand. So it's just an extra little tip. When you're taking a right turn like this, just watch out because pedestrians can come from nowhere and they can cross in a casual and cavalier fashion. So the lesson is be alert. So I'll be coming up to that set of lights there now very soon, taking a right turn. And as I come up to it, We'll see what colour the light is now um, as we come down. At the moment it's red there, as you can see. So I'm going to just check my mirrors, signal to the right. Now, even though it's red, I can still take this right turn here, okay? I do not have to wait until this goes green. And uh, looking in there, all clear. And I'll take the turn fine. Because this road that I'm on now is connected to the lights, but it's not part of the lights. It's not an integral part of the lights. It's a one-way street. There's no lights controlling the cars exiting this road. So I can take that right turn there uh, like I did. Perfectly fine, perfectly legally. And it's important I do that. Otherwise, if it was a driving test, I could get faulted for progress turning right or progress at lights. If you have any similar stories about similar junctions throughout Ireland, why not let me know in the comments section? Or better still, send me an email and perhaps I might be able to do a future video on it. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll be back very soon with another driving lesson video. Bye for now.